morning parade for the China Formed Police Unit. 140 elite troops, almost all of them on their first mission abroad. To be part of this hand-picked team, you need to be something special. At the beginning of forming our team, the party committee of Guangxi Border Control Cops proposed to use the power of the entire cops and gather the wisdom of the cops as a whole to select the first-rate team members, build a first-rate police force, and do the first-rate peacekeeping in accordance with first-class standards. For this goal, we highlighted the need of good political thought, excellent professional quality, excellent military qualifications, and excellent physical fitness. We use them as our selection criteria. They have to be sharp and always prepared. Liberians struggle with the legacy of two civil wars. Conflict that killed more than a quarter of a million people and drove more than a million from their homes. There's been relative peace since late 2003, but always there are worries that violence can flare up again. And poverty and deprivation are rife. Though thousands of kilometers from home, these peacekeepers see it as their responsibility to help this country. Patrolling takes up much of their time. Today's mission takes us to Bonsville, Monserrado, 28 miles from the capital, Monrovia. Before Liberia's war, Bonsville was a thriving agricultural and industrial center. The Chinese peacekeepers are doing their daily patrol today. The lead vehicle has the toughest job. It's stifling hot and sultry humid, and that gear is really heavy. The platoon moves through smoothly and with well-practiced effort. Our mandate is to demonstrate the forces' presence and collect the information. We start with the traffic condition. We also care for the contingent safety. At the moment, this area is safe, but we patrol just in case people gather for political protests. Thirdly, we also sanitized and provided anti-epidemic care for locals. Ebola hit this country hard recently, and epidemic prevention is crucial for our mission here. Back at base, one unit is rehearsing rapid response. Another preparing for night patrol. The demands of this job are intense. The peacekeepers have shown they're more than up to the challenge. In this one year, the China FBU has always maintained outstanding operational capability. The armed patrols cover the entire territory of Liberia and patrol nearly 110,000 kilometers. Under Yun Mill's mandate, a 150-member police unit has been built by the Liberia National Police, which was trained by us. We have led joint military drills with the Liberia National Police and other peacekeeping military police in the mission area. Our work has earned the praise of Yun Mill and the Libyan government and has been awarded the National Outstanding Contribution Award. The UN mission here is wrapping up now. No, don't scare anymore. This is the fifth and the final Chinese unit deployed here. These are their last patrols. Local people say they're sorry to see them go. So the Chinese, I'm not even aware they are leaving. So it would be a shock to me. Uh, right now, even as you are telling me they're leaving, I'm, I'm feeling sad because uh, uh, I feel happy when they are here. The mission's not over yet, though. In coming days, we will meet some of these heroes and tell their stories of life in this crack team. Sonimetu, CGTN, Monrovia, Liberia.